In this video, I want to talk a bit about using other brushes inside of Photoshop as well as the ability to download and use other brushes uh, that you might want to find on the internet because there are thousands upon thousands of brushes available for Photoshop for all kinds of specialty applications that you might want to dig into. Now here I am inside of a brand new document in Photoshop. You can uh, open this up just by going to File, New. These are the default settings, but really any sort of an empty canvas will do just fine for our purposes. I already have the brush tool activated, so I'm just going to make sure you tap the B key if you don't. And I'm going to select just a standard hard brush, which creates nice little simple strokes as you see here. Now, if you were to open up your brush selector, you notice you can scroll down and there are several different brushes to choose from. You have like this grass brush, and as you click and drag, it creates this interesting layered grass effect, which actually looks pretty nifty. And if you assign a color to it, it looks even cooler. But you also might have noticed that this list of brushes appears to be fairly short. And you might be thinking, well, I mean, aren't there more brushes to choose from? The answer is absolutely yes. However, they're not all there by default. If you look inside your brush chooser, you'll see there's this little tiny black arrow button. And if you click this, a little flyout menu comes in with all kinds of things you can choose from. Among others, we have a series of brushes which are there for you to use but are not available by default. Uh, we have the assorted brushes, which is kind of your basics. We have our uh, calli uh, calligraphic brushes. What I'm going to do is jump all the way down to M brushes. And any anytime you click on one of these, you'll get the same window. It says replace current brushes with the brushes from the M brushes. I don't really want to do that. I, I like everything I have here. I don't want to replace anything. So I'm going to click the append button and watch really closely what this little uh, scroll bar is going to do when I do that. It's a lot smaller, and now we can scroll down a lot further with these M brushes. So it's a whole new array of brushes to choose from. So now we can pick on, say, this guy, and this is the rough comb brush. And as I click and drag, we get a whole new effect that was not available before. Extremely cool and a lot of fun to play with. So by all means, dig down into those and see what all of the different brushes do. Just know that you are loading a lot of uh, new things into memory, which is one of the reasons why they don't all come in by default. If you add too many and for some reason, it probably won't happen, but if for some reason your computer starts to run a little bit slowly with everything loaded in, you can just choose Reset Brushes and this will replace the current brushes with the default brushes. Click OK, and there you go. So now you're back to everything you had when you first started. So there's a whole lot for you to explore right there, and I'm not going to go over each one of those. By all means, just take a few minutes and dig through them and find some that you particularly like. However, the brushes that come with Photoshop are not necessarily the end of the story. If you get on the internet, there are all kinds of places where you can download brushes. And one such place is brushking.eu. And I already have a brush that I decided to grab called Rusty Grunge Number no. 2, which includes 37 high quality brushes for you to play with. Now, I'm not saying you have to go to Brush King. If you want to just jump into Google and search for Photoshop brushes, by all means do so. I take absolutely no responsibility for what comes out of that search. And I'll slide this out of the way. Now, what you end up with is basically a zip file in this case containing an ABR file. And that ABR file is kind of a brush definition that Photoshop is going to use. And you need to know where to put this so that Photoshop can reach it and easily access it for your brushes. There are two locations you can put this file, and I'll show you both of them. Now, granted, I'm using Windows 7. If you're using a Mac, the uh, install folder is going to be in a slightly different location. But uh, since I'm not currently a Mac guy, I'm going to trust your abilities to dig that out and find it. Now, here I am inside of my actual program files. So this is the actual installation folder for Photoshop. You'll notice I'm at Program Files, Adobe, Photoshop CS5, 64-bit, Presets, Brushes. So there's your big one, Photoshop CS5, Presets, Brushes. Now, I want to, I want to point something out to you. Notice the list of brushes we have here. Sort of brushes, basic brushes, calligraphic, DP, drop, and so on. Now, if I come back over here to this list, like so, you'll see that exact same array of brushes reflected here. If you want your newly downloaded brushes to appear inside this list, then this is where you're going to want to put these. You'll put them here inside of this. Now this is the installation folder, and there are some folks who just abhor changing the files that are actually included in the installation folder with their software. In Windows 7, you can install your brushes 
to a local location that is bound strictly to your account so that when you log into Windows, you'll get your brushes and when somebody else logs into uh, to Windows, they're going to get either their own brushes or they, they won't get yours. And that location is C, Users, whatever your login is, App Data, Roaming, Adobe, Photoshop CS5, Presets, Brushes. Again, notice the Presets, Brushes uh, listing. Now this is where I'm going to install my brushes. So here, let's go back over to our zip file containing Rusty Grunge 2, and I'll just drag and drop like so. Now if we want, we can go ahead and just restart Photoshop uh, if we so desire, but what I'm going to do instead is just load these in. So let's go back over to our little drop down, and we'll choose Load Brushes, and we're already looking inside of that folder now. If you take a look, here we are inside of brushes, presets, and so on, all the way back down. So let's grab Rusty Grunge, click Load, and now these have appeared at the very bottom. So I have some brand new brushes. Let's grab uh, some cool shade of brown, and I can just click a few times, and I'm already creating this very cool rusty texture. So that's just a quick way for you to see how to bring in brand new brushes that didn't even exist with Photoshop, totally scored off the internet, and then downloaded. Please be sure, uh, if you you know if you do go to the internet, be sure to give your thanks, or at least look at it, see if there are any licensing uh, issues with using a particular brush. Some uh, websites don't care. They just say, grab the brush, enjoy it, knock yourself out, have a good time with it. Others will ask that you give them credit in, in the end of your work. I am I'm totally giving credit for this brush to the folks over at Brush King for making this available, and specifically to uh, Deo, who's the artist who actually assembled these. So way to go. So that is going to wrap everything up that I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks a lot.